Hey K5, it's Miss McConnell here. I hope all of you are doing well. I miss all of you so, so much. If I could, I'd give all of you a big hug right now. But I'll see you soon. Today, we're going to talk about a butterfly's life cycle. Now you're starting your last packet of work for the year. And we're gonna go over four life cycles in this packet of work. I'm gonna read the stories to you. This is on day two of your packet. And it's a butterfly life cycle. If you notice, I have a butterfly right here on my um, plant. Okay, let's get started. This is all about butterflies. Look, it's a butterfly. This book will tell you about the lives of these beautiful bugs. Butterflies are insects. They have six legs, just like ants, grasshoppers, and ladybugs. Remember K5, we talked about insects and the difference between insects and spiders. Butterflies have four wings. Each wing is covered with thousands of tiny scales. These scales give butterfly wings their bright colors. See how bright and pretty my butterfly is? Butterflies drink their meals through a thin tube called a proboscis. Their favorite meal is nectar, which they suck up from flowers. Butterflies comes in all different colors. Some have spots, some have stripes, some seem like they have painted wings. But butterflies do not begin their lives looking this way. Let's take a peek at their life cycle of a monarch to see how they grow and how they change. Here's an interesting fun fact. There are 17,500 different kinds of butterflies in the world. That's a lot. Okay, egg to caterpillar. A female monarch lays an egg on a leaf. The egg is tiny. One egg is about the size of a period at the end of a sentence. And this is what the egg looks like. After a few days, the egg hatches. Out wiggles a hungry caterpillar. First, the caterpillar eats its own eggshell. Then it starts munching on leaves. Newborn caterpillars look like this. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The caterpillar keeps eating and growing and changing. It starts out small and white, but soon it becomes long and covered with colorful stripes. And it says right here that the monarch caterpillar only eats milkweed plants. After about two weeks, the caterpillar takes a rest. It attaches to a twig or a leaf and hangs upside down. Something amazing is about to happen. Here's a fun fact. Monarch caterpillars have 16 legs. And there's a picture of one. Okay, chapter three. Chrysalis to butterfly. The caterpillar becomes a wrapped up package called a chrysalis. Inside this package, exciting changes are taking place. And this is what the chrysalis looks like. The chrysalis turns from green to clear. Presto changeo! The caterpillar has become a butterfly. There it is, changing from green to clear. Guess what happens next? The butterfly breaks out of the chrysalis. Then it enfolds its wings, which are soft and damp. 
The brand new butterfly waits in the sun for its wings to dry, then flutter, flutter, away it flies. Look how pretty it is. Kind of looks like my butterfly. Here's another fun fact. Monarchs flap their wings five to 12 times a second. That's a lot. Okay, let's review over our life cycle. Do you remember the four main steps in a monarch butterfly's life cycle? Let's take a look. Day one, the female butterfly lays an egg on a leaf. Four days later, a caterpillar hatches. It grows and grows. There's day one and four days later. Then two weeks later, a caterpillar becomes a chrysalis. And then one month later, a butterfly breaks out of this chrysalis. The life cycle of a monarch butterfly lasts for about one month. In fall, monarch butterflies do what birds do. They fly south for the winter. This is called migration. Monarchs travel in big groups called flocks, just like birds. And that's when they're all grown up. Some monarchs go to California and some go to Mexico. Along the way, they rest in trees. In early spring, the monarch flies back north. A female lays an egg on a leaf. Then the butterfly life cycle will begin all over again. And here's another fact. Monarchs are poisonous to birds and other animals. Their bright wings say, don't eat me, just like this one. Okay, that's the end of our butterfly life cycle. Now, on day two, in your last packet, you have two sheets to fill out about a butterfly life cycle. The first one is called a butterfly journal, and it looks like this. The second one is a butterfly story. Now, you'll have, probably have to get your uh, parents or a grown-up to help you do this, because some of the words you might not be able to spell. But do the best you can. I miss you all of you so much. And I will see you again on our next episode of Life Cycles. And remember, it's a good day to have a good day. Be good, guys. Love you. Bye.